is Meredith Jones with Ally Property Inspections. I wanted to walk you through our new Spectora reports. We have customized them to make them very similar to how our inspected reports were laid out for years. And there are still some differences. So I wanted to walk you through it to make sure you could get the most out of the reports. As you can see, it's fully web-based and it looks really neat and has some great features I think you're going to like. So first off, you can see the picture is of the home in this particular instance. Obviously, that's not the real address. It will say who the inspector is to the left, and it will have your information on the right, which is a great way to remind your client who their agent was anytime they look at the report. So immediately on the left, I want to bring you to the side menu bar. This is a really quick way to get through the report. One thing you're going to notice is that we still break out every single bedroom, every single bathroom, and room in general on its own. We do that so that you can quickly understand which room is what when you're looking at it. What's really cool too is you can quickly switch between those rooms. Here it brings up your grounds. It gives you all your deficiencies right here with photos. You can even blow it up if you need to see it even more. Has a nice bottle in that uh, block. <laughs> you can close it. Now, if you want to go to the hallway and see what's in the hallway bathroom, now we're into the hallway. It gives you a simple breakdown. Instead of check boxes, we just simply write it out. Were any of the faucets leaking? No. Did any of the shower faucets leak? No. So we still go through every single detail just like we did in the past. It just simply looks a little different. Anything on the sidebar here that has a number by it means there were deficiencies. And that is the number of deficiencies that we found in that area. If in like in the kitchen, there's no number there, it means we did not find any deficiencies. We still have photos and we still have our checklist items there just like we always would. Simply, it's just missing a number because it did not have any deficiencies. Now I would like to come up to the additional summary items. This was basically some added information and in inspected that you would have seen in the summary. Because the software doesn't lay this out exactly the same way, it's going to be listed as additional summary items. So it gives us any items not operated. Well, it looks like in this case, the microwave might not have been operable. Deferred cost items, those were anything that were big ticket items like the roof, the HVAC, the water heater that may have been about five years within the end of its life, meaning that your clients may have to replace that in the upcoming few years and that that would be something they would want to be aware about. Items not tested or inspected are listed right below. In this case, the attic was not inspected because the access was sealed shut. Uh, the interior windows throughout the house were not inspected because they were covered with plastic. So those are really important FYIs. We do still have a full summary on this report and it's pretty quick little access here. If that's the first place you want to go, all you have to do is press the summary button and it brings you to the summary. Now you will notice some differences and our summary in the past, we broke things out into major concerns, health and safety, and just simply repair items. In this case with Spectora, they break it out by location and then they color code it. So red will stand for potential safety. If you're not sure, you can simply hover your clicker over it and it will show you what it means. Blue items with just a little wrench are just simply the repair items. We can scroll down and keep going through the different areas. And here we find one, here is a major concern for us. In this case, the general condition of the painting and caulking was in bad condition for the whole house. So that was a major concern. There were actually some other ones as well. But as you can see, these are all location-based. So these are all outside the house. This is the concerns in the laundry room as far as summary items that needed repair bathrooms, everything is exactly given the location. If you want to scroll between locations, you can do it here as well. You can go there's in the dining room. And I believe it was the crawl space that we saw some other major concerns in this particular house. So yes, this is where we saw big concerns with the foundation wall. What's great here is we can, like I said, zoom in on those photos and expand it. Um, which is a really nice feature that we didn't have and inspect it. And this is really helpful when you want a better look. 
So this is a very sim simple way to look at the report. If you wanna quickly go back to the full report, it will do that as well down here at the bottom when you are on your summary. So there's many different ways you can look at this. If you just wanna look at potential safety hazards, you can view it that way. If you're somebody who would prefer to also have a PDF printout, you can certainly do it. You can do just a summary and I'll show you what that looks like. We're not able to change the summary. This is the way it's going to look from Spectora. If you want the full report, that actually has better hyperlinks. Here again, has your, your picture on there when it's, it's not our sample report. And like I said, you can do quick links. So if you go to the, to the table of contents and you wanna hit plumbing, here is plumbing. And this is how it's laid out. It has all the same things that Inspected did. Like I said, just a little bit different layout on the page, but the exact same information that you needed before. One great item that we're now able to offer you that we weren't able to before is being able to do a repair request builder. Now I will say I'm a big fan of, sure, let's take any way we can cut your work down. However, I still will say you're going to want to make additional comments on this. Home inspection reports are not meant to generate repair requests. They're they're meant to describe and, and talk about defects, but that doesn't mean it's the same thing as saying how it needs to be fixed. So let's just say in this case, we wanna select all visible defects. You can see it gives us a credit and then the ability to comment. So you could ask for dollar amount off. So let's say we wanna ask for a credit on the stoop steps for the deck. We can say, okay, we think that's gonna cost $250 to do that. And we can put that there. If you want to make additional comment, we could specify seller to credit buyer $250 off of sales price. You could add repair requested if you wanted to. In this case, we're just asking for money off, so we're not going to do that. Let's say we didn't actually want them to seal the cracks in the driveway. We could just uncheck that on the left side. If you decide again you want to add it, you can do that and just simply click it back. If you only wanted to ask for potential safety items, you could click it up here on this like middle menu bar and it would only give you those items. But let's go back to say we want everything. Your credit is still here. But let's say the surface boards are in, in poor condition. I mean, we could there again write a full comment about it and you could say qualified carpenter to replace deck boards. But also, if you would notice, this was something that we did not have it inspected. You already have it here. We've already recommended for you who to contact to either fix it or to give you more information. Of course, if you don't agree or you would prefer someone else, you can write that in the comment. You don't have to say it needs to be a carpentry contractor. You can make as many different kind of comments and credits as you want. I'll just show you what the preview would look like if you do that. Here, you're just simply giving them basically verbatim our report, which like I said, is not ideal in every circumstance. In this case, this very first one, that would be fine, but there are times where you might wanna add wording like having permits pulled, or maybe if it's like an electrician, you would want to specify that you want a licensed electrician to do repair work. Here you can see where we wrote and that we wanted a credit and then specifically seller to credit the buyer now I'm just scrolling through this really fast because I didn't make any extra comments because I wanted to show you that at the very bottom, it is going to show you for the credits asked. In this case, I only did one. I'm sorry, there's a lot, but it could say this here. It would give you a total if you had asked for more. But let's talk about some safety things. Like in our, one of our major concerns in this case is that this home had a Federal Pacific electrical panel. Those are notorious for having issues. So in this case, we say contact a qualified electrical contractor. However, most electrical contractors are going to tell you it needs to be replaced. So you could have made a comment that says seller to have licensed contractor to replace electrical panel 
or something like that. And of course, I would suggest pulling permits. And this is why I say this is great to speed up your process and to include photos for the seller. However, don't stop there. I have whole CE classes about that, so I'm not gonna lecture you for, for hours about this, um, but definitely you do need to do some editing work or talk to your clients about doing editing work. Here again, we can go to the very top. This is what it would look like. So you could email it, text it, or simply copy the link and paste it. So I'm gonna open this link in a new tab. Let's just see what it looks like. It's exactly the same thing. What's great here is you can edit it again. Um, you could view it as a PDF. I suggest you probably wanna send it as a PDF to whoever you're sending it to. You don't want them to have it to be editable. So those are the general um, features that I believe that you're really going to enjoy with Spectora. Please let us know if you have any questions or concerns and we look forward to working with you soon.